Bonjour, hola, and hello. I'm Marcia, and this is my first attempt at making handmade cream. So to get us started, you need some really nice, simple, organic, hopefully, ingredients, and some support along the way. Number one, you need a jar to pour your uh, handmade cream into, and then it takes a few hours for it to fully cool and solidify. You can also use a glass jar, a bell jar, that kind of thing. I like these because they're pretty. And then you need uh, beeswax. So I have a little beeswax stick and I'm going to double my batch here because it calls for a tablespoon, which is about half of this. And that's not very much cream, so I want to make more. So this is two tablespoons. And then we have uh, African shea butter. So this, this recipe calls for a quarter cup, so I'm gonna do a half a cup of this. And then we have our sweet almond oil, and this calls for an eighth of a cup, so I'm gonna do a quarter cup of that. Also, if you like essential oils, um, make sure they're pure essential oils because you don't want that um, kind of stinky extra oil effect of all the fillers. Uh, I'm using geranium rose this time um, because I have a doggy, so there's certain scents that dogs should not be sniffing. Lavender's fine, tea tree oil is not, lemon is not, um, and uh, pine is not. So anyway, I'm using geranium rose. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a pot, okay, and start boiling some water. So you put uh, about half, fill the water about halfway. Like so, turn it on, and then you have this double boiler, okay, and this is going to go right on top, like so. Just be careful, so I'm just going to show you, voila, okay, letting the water boil. We'll wait until it boils, I'm actually going to take the double boiler out. So a couple things about the ingredients. So the, the honey, the, um, the beeswax helps congeal the body cream or hand cream. And the essential oil, of course, is for fragrance, but it's also for emotional well-being, right? So there's certain fragrances that work really well for us. I have some kidney issues, so I use a lot of geranium. Um, geranium oil is really good for people with kidney issues. And the sweet almond oil is a really nice emollient oil, and the shea butter is just really good, soothing, uh, very moisturizing. And again, just really simple way to um, make your life a little bit more organic. And you know, so the water is boiling. You can see, like so. I'm going to take my double boiler. You have to be careful of this handle. It can get really hot. We're going to start to put our ingredients in. So we put this beeswax in. Again, this is about two tablespoons. I'm going to melt that in. Very beautiful. And then we're going to take our sweet almond oil. And we're going to pour a quarter cup. Again, I'm doing a double batch. So a single batch would be an eighth of a cup and you know just just to enjoy the process I encourage you to you know smell the oil it's beautiful what's happening in there <laughs> you don't want your um, ingredients to boil up you want them to just smoothly heat up so I'm going to turn down the double boiler a little bit while I get ready with the shea butter and I'm using a spatula to stir things around rather than and I'm going to take a half cup measure here because I'm lazy instead of doing two one quarter cups and I'm going to put the shea butter in look at this color isn't that beautiful mm. and you just scoop it up <laughs> kind of slippery <laughs> And I got this, <clears throat> this is an African shea butter, so if you happen to have a, an African store or African um, 
supplier of African goods in your town or city, go there first, all right? And again, try to support local people when possible. It's really amazing, a beautiful color. And the beeswax is melting beautifully. I'm gonna put the shea butter in. I'm gonna use my scoop here like so and just turn it all in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's not quite a half a cup. All right, so look at that beautiful color. And you know, some people just use just straight up shea butter um, to moisturize their bodies or their hands. So what I'm doing now is I'm just stirring, stirring this beautiful concoction. I'll just show you here. Really nice. And you know, this is a pretty strong stove, so I tend to turn the heat down a bit because I don't want this again to boil. But just keep stirring, be gentle and eventually all of it will melt. Once it's melted, that's your moment to pour it right into your jars. Once you have added your essential oil, you don't have to add essential oil if you don't want to at all. It's perfectly fine without it. You may just like to go au natural. <laughs> so I'll be waiting for a few more minutes. Just gorgeous. Look at that color. Looks like, it looks like melted honey. Right. You can kind of hear the bubbles. So this is one of these projects that I was preparing to do about eight months ago <laughs> and even though I have had time it just seemed like something that um, literally went on the back burner so if you have projects like that you know just just give yourself permission to do it when you're ready um, but, but don't give up right it, sometimes we can just not feel inspired and I know this past year has been really challenging with this huge pandemic and masks and social isolation and all of those things. So sometimes we're just, our mood is not so upbeat and creativity isn't necessarily a positive, you know, right? There's artists who have used their pain, their suffering, their loss to create great works of art. So you can even channel that into making a beautiful cream that's going to soothe and nurture your hands and or body. And something that you made yourself, something you can be really proud of. It's just about melted. I'm using just a little simple spatula here. I'm going to just take this off because it's really sticky. You'll notice that I have some music on in the background. And I have to be honest, these past several months, um, I've used music for dancing, but I haven't actually put music on in the background very often. I think, like many of us, I've been distracted. So if that's you, again, lots of compassion, understanding. I'm sure a lot of us felt like, oh, I'm gonna learn a foreign language and take up guitar or whatever I did. <laughs> I started learning Arabic and um, did take up guitar, but do I practice? Not very often. And, um, you know, so <laughs> I think that is, is what we call a collective source of grief. And I'm not trying to be depressing, I'm just saying that, you know, we have to honor where we've been and um, give ourselves permission to just go at a pace in our own lives that feels more integrated instead of pushing. This isn't the time to push. All right, so it's it's all melted, and I'll show you. It's quite beautiful, beautiful, rich honey color. There it is, gorgeous.
gorgeous. All right, and I'm going to add the essential oils. It calls for about 20 drops, and I think that's going to be too intense and extreme with geranium rose. Geranium rose is very strong. So I think I'm going to do about 15 drops, and I think that'll be plenty. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and just mix it up. Yeah, it feels really like it's pretty strong anyway. And again, you might need to uh, put a pot holder on top of this. So right now I'm just gonna pour these. Be careful of underneath because the water there is hot. I'm gonna pour these into these beautiful containers and just about halfway each one just a beautiful homemade hand cream yeah I'm gonna say hand or body cream and you notice I have it on a cooking rack here a baking rack just in case I made a mess here and you want to very quickly put this in the sink and start um, using hot water to rinse it because you don't want that to be sticking okay and that's it you just wait and let it cool down and there you have it some beautiful hand cream that you made yourself take care all right so our hand cream has congealed and it looks very beautiful it's a golden honey color. I'm just going to show it to you here. Really, really nice, really smooth texture. You kind of have to dig in a little bit. It's more like a balm, but you don't need very much to put on your hands to soften. And uh, it might be a little bit dense for the body, but um, you can always try if you have really dry skin. Hope you give it a try.